Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time we got Tainted Samson, which I think we have done somewhat recently on The Streak, I can't remember. But we got him again and I'm not gonna not accept a good old Tainted Samson run. He's a he's a pretty good lad. Uh, he's a fun character to play at. That is an amazing start. Lovely stuff, thank you. That could be something very beautiful. Today this could be the greatest day of my life. Uh, but anyways, let's jump on in. And see what we can get going on. Oh my lord. Oh, key there's kind of nice as well. Um, honestly, I think I'll definitely take Soul of Forgotten considering um, curse rooms, not curse rooms, uh, sacrifice rooms exist. That would be pretty good. 30% chance to block any red heart damage, prevent the uh, damage penalty to devil deal chance. Prevents the damage penalty to devil deal chance altogether. Oh my god, that's pretty goddamn good. Um, I will pop in here as well. It's a little bit of a risk, I realise, but I think it's worth it. Take out this guy first. I think we will end up getting our burn thing going on beforehand. <sighs> I want to kill him first. There you go. Well, that did not go the way I was hoping it would. I will take that. Thank you. Um, I will take that as well. I'm not going to take the pills at this point. So what, what do we get there? I, got, I did want to take Red Crown. It's really good, but... Being at one red heart wasn't really the play. I didn't really think about the fact that there was a soul heart there, but for some reason, I assumed it was a choice of what I wanted, and so I thought the soul heart would have disappeared. That's why I didn't take red crown. Um, but I'm relatively happy with taking um, Bloody Lust. We've basically become both versions of Samson at once, which I think is kind of funny. Um, and also, we've got some um, some soul heart health now. I was going to say to protect our devil deal, but that doesn't actually matter at this point, because we just read that we cannot lose Devil Deal chance anymore, which is pretty nice. Well, I locked into Devil Deal straight away, but I just thought it's a good item. It makes sense. And it's pretty fitting for this character, to be honest, so why not? Pretty fitting for this character, indeed. Okay, straight in. Oh, that was amazing. Lovely stuff. Beautiful. And we get the pearls. Nice. Okay. Pretty good first floor, I'd say. Uh, that secret room was good for getting the Soul of Forgotten for later down the line. Um, and I, I want to try and utilize it as much as I can. Getting a um, something to do damage to our red hearts first would be really, really nice here so that we can take a bit of uh, damage through our Soul Heart health and get some damage ups for the floor. That'd be rather nice indeed. But yeah, we've got a pretty good damaging setup right now, I think. I am a little annoyed I didn't take Red Crown. <laughs> I just thought it was too risky for a, a streak. I don't, I don't know. If I'd have known that Soul Heart was going to be there, I almost definitely would have taken it. But because I wasn't sure if it would stay there, I um, I abstained. That was a very good cash room to go into, though, wasn't it? That ended up being pretty valuable for us. Okay, good. Hopefully we find a sacrifice room this floor that we can use um, our thingy on here. Uh, Candy Heart is very good too here. Candy Heart's very, very nice. So we've got more reason now than ever to uh, to take stuff that's going to damage our Red Hearts first. If we get the Trinket that allows us to do that, I forget the name of it now. Uh, Crow's Heart. That would be really, really nice. As for the question of the day today, what's, a, what's another culture's food that is pretty bizarre by your standards, but you'd still really want to try. For me, I really think I'd want to try, like, crickets. You know, like, fried crickets and stuff. Like, I don't know why. It doesn't It doesn't seem, like, at super appetizing, but it doesn't seem super unappetizing either. And I feel like it's an interesting idea, and I know that, like, ants and things like that are uh, quite often eaten in a lot of, um, sort of... I wouldn't say at all, but in, in, in some Asian countries, there's um, a lot of insects that are eaten. And yeah, I think it'd be interesting to try them. I, I think, um, you see, these, these, they, from what I've heard, they're like good sources of protein and they taste like reasonably good. And they're only like other meats where they're, they're kind of only as good as what you sort of make, how you make them. Like, it, they're of course going to be a lot better if you make them with a lot of seasons and, uh, seasonings and spices and things like that. So it's kind of like you're at the whim of your own creativity of the meal um, and the, 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 the sort of fragrances and... Um, spices that you pair it with. And I think that's kind of cool. Like, I I'd definitely be down to try that sort of stuff. And I realise that nowadays even, that's it's probably not that weird. It's probably not that out there. I think something that I saw recently, and this is food that I just never try because I'm just not into seafood or anything sort of slimy, is I saw there was a video going around recently of like people collecting a bunch of jellyfish and eating jellyfish. And then I read some of the comments and people basically said, 
they're um they don't really taste of anything it's more about like the texture and you just kind of flavor it kind of like tofu it's kind of like a slimy tofu <laughs> which i find strange um but like i, I don't know I'm, i don't think i'd like it but maybe i'd be down to try it it's something that's like mainly dependent on the flavors you add to it does sound kind of interesting as a regular meal Okay, couldn't quite finish him off there. I was hoping I would be able to. I'm unfortunately, didn't get a sack room again here. I think I think if a curse room spawns, a sack room can't. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I feel like that's the case. Can we get your little baby to uh, there? You go, detach. Thank you. Makes our life a hell of a lot easier. I think we got a decent run on our hands thus far. I mean, getting a devil deal on the first floor like that's pretty nice. We got a hundred percent devil deal chance here as well. We did just get an extra soul heart, and we've got an eternal heart rocking as well. Good stuff. Ooh, okay. We're, we're, we're going... We're going the whole way with the uh, the lusty blood, the bloody lust. We need uh, gusty blood now. Um, and there's a modded one that's called something similar as well. Let's quickly try and find secret room uh, while we're here. I think I know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's um, up and to the right here, but I do want to quickly just check down here first. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. I just gotta check this door. Yeah, okay. It, 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 it's almost certainly where I thought it was. Let's give that bad boy a try. Um, it's probably not worth opening that. It cost us a key, and it's unlikely that anything in there will be half price. Um, I'm gonna leave that for now. And I was planning on maybe opening up my shop and seeing what's what in there, but I don't think. I mean, I, I might be able to buy a soul heart, I guess. But I'm, I think I'm going to leave it for now until I potentially have more money to make the key a little potentially more valuable. I think just going in for a soul heart when my health is already pretty good is not not stupendously necessary. Uh, but yeah, we've we've got a, a very a very Samson build going on right now with some non-Samson items like b bloody gust. Uh, sorry, whatever the other one I just got is lusty blood isn't a Samson item, but it's kind of a Samson item. It's not really the same, but it, it kind of works. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever been hit by the centipede, so I really don't want to start now. Beautiful stuff. I've not really utilized... Oh, the creep... Dude, that creep just hit me twice. Not... Not a good start to this floor. Maybe I should have bought that soul heart if there was one in the shop. I didn't even have a look, so I don't know if that actually was, but... Maybe I should have done my due diligence and tried to find one because that does not feel good. But an extra eternal heart really, really, really does. Okay, let's gather these guys up. I might even bomb these guys. Luckily, with um, Lusty Blood plus Bloody Lust, uh, our damage is actually scaling pretty high pretty quickly. So I don't think we have too much of a worry on our hands here. In fact, I'm going to go straight for the boss here while we've got our swingy swing swings going on. Look at that. Easy. We get ourselves Milk of Baphomet, which is good stuff. That's more HP to work with. And then, what have we got in here? So we've got the Nail there, which is a very, very clear idea. So I think I think what we've got here, so we've got Purgatory. I'm not sure there. We've got the Nail, and then I'm not quite so sure what this is here with the two hearts. I think right now the reasonable thing to do is to just take the Nail. Um, just because the nail is a way of regaining HP. It also gives us the stompy effect, which saves us on uh, bombs for tinted rocks, which is kind of nice. And it also is a damage up for the room that we use it in, which is pretty valuable in itself as well. So I think the nail is just the obvious choice right now. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm going to keep searching this floor, because for one, we've not found our item room yet. For two, I really want to see if we find our sack room here. But we want to be using the nail as soon as available, realistically. Um, because we want the health upgrade, but you only get half a heart from it nowadays. It's not that full heart it once was, but considering it comes with so many other effects, I think the uh, half soul heart is generous, to be honest. Um, I think this this would still be a good item even without the half heart. Oh god. Um, so yeah, I'm happy, happy to have it. Good, good. I will bomb this just because there's a lot of uh, thingies here. One second. Right, let's keep it going. Uh, check out here. Oh yeah, definitely open these. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to take pills at this point, aren't I? I've been I've been kind of avoiding pills, but <sighs> you bastard of a game. You're the biggest shit in the goddamn world. Oh my god, I removed a curse there at least, which is something. I think I did have a curse on, so that's something. But oh my god, every time, man, every time I'm like, yeah, 
maybe I will take the risk. The game just proves why I don't take these risks. I always get a tears down as my first goddamn pill, and it's like, ugh, just don't. Why? Just don't be the way that you are. But now, now that I've started, I've taken a tears down. I have to keep taking pills until I get a tears off. That's how. That's how it works. <gasps> Excuse me. I did not see this. <laughs> well, that's that's rather convenient. I did not see that earlier. Okay, forget what I said. I don't care about the tears down anymore. Okay, this run is uh, is in a good spot now. Do you know what? It's, uh, Bloody Lust plus Milk of Baphomet are two pretty interesting items to have alongside each other because we get the um, random on-hit effect plus damage from getting hit. It's pretty cool. But yeah, we've got some sort of health regeneration source now, which is good. Obviously, I don't like the fact that we're a big boy, but our size increase does increase the size of our swings, I believe. I actually don't know if it does anymore because the swing size is now affected by the range-ups from the mod that we have, the range-up fix. Um, so I don't know if it still works the exact same way in terms of, uh, size ups. But I think it looks like it does. It looks like it does. We got our plastic bag, which I think is pretty good. Do you know? Didn't know that was a pair thrower, but I'm not displeased. <laughs> I'm not displeased. We'll buy that. And we'll buy that. I think this respawns bombs, doesn't it? Yeah. How dare you? Two troll bombs. How dare you? Still no sack room, unfortunately. We're getting a lot of chaos rooms at the moment, but it is what it is. Uh, secret room again. I'm not entirely sure this time around, but let's take a little look around here. We've got copper bombs in here, which, yeah, do their thing. You know they do their thing. Nah. Um, let's have a little look-see. I destroyed all the rocks in here, so it can't be here. Can't be over there. Hmm. A little bit perplexed on where it is right now. A little bit perplexed on where it is right now. I guess it could be to the right here. No, it can't be. I don't actually know on this floor, and I'm not going to waste my bombs trying to find out, because I'm... I'm I'm not even a little bit unsure. I'm very unsure. And with four bombs, I don't think that's really the right amount to um to be messing around. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on right now. I think our damage is now very good. I mean, magic mush just changes the tide, doesn't it? Hey, extra keys there is nice. We've got two keys here, so we can now pop in here pretty safely. Um, yeah, do you know what? You're pretty valuable to us, because we get random on-hit effects, and we actually do want to pay out our uh, red hearts for rewards. Got a range up, which is good for us. We got a good amount of damage up there. Good amount of damage up. And yeah, we can come back to him with red hearts we regain. Also, having red heart space is pretty valuable for us because of candied heart. We can get stat upgrades for uh, any red hearts we pick up. Unfortunately, we don't start with the um, child's heart as this guy. So we don't actually get the bonus of... Um... We don't actually get the bonus of being able to find more red hearts on room drop. We just grab that. Good, good, good. It's only going to be small, obviously, stat increases, but it's stat increases nonetheless. You can see the damage we've got going on right now is pretty amazing, though. Ah, really? Oh, as if I didn't hit that either. That was a really bad hit there. I think because of my size increase, I kind of got the time, the spacing a little wrong there. Good thing is we should find more soul hearts on average because of uh, I was having the mitre now, I'd hear. I do not like you poisoning the, uh, poisoning the good people of this land. Got to play it a little safe at the moment because my health, overall health, isn't great. My actual total heart containers is pretty good, but my current overall health isn't the best. Okay. 
I really should have used that before the end of that room there to get a double charge. I'm going to have to use a bomb on this as well, even though the nail will be better. Come on, no HP. That's just upsetting. Shop here for a soul heart as well. Or a man. Not what I was hoping for, but it's fine. Sometimes I do wish I waited to spend my keys, because it would have been way better to spend all my keys later than then, but oh well. Um, okay, boss room is there. We have not seen item room this floor thus far, I don't believe. There's a luck penny up there, I'll definitely bomb for that. Thank you. I'm still looking for my sacrifice room as well, should we find one. Kind of can't believe we haven't had one yet. Right, here's our item room. Ooh, what the hell is this? Point the reticle an obstacle to use an active item effect. Um, use an active item effect that corresponds to it. Interesting. Rock is you. It's an interesting item, but I can't. I can't deny the the ability to regen health. I just can't. Right, this way we haven't been yet, I don't think. Yeah. I love the fact that we're one-shotting stuff right now. That feels good. Ooh, and that is pretty beautiful. Extra soul heart there as well. Lovely. I'll save my active usage for my boss fight. And I'm going to go give some more hearts to the demon beggar just because I think that he's pretty close to paying out. Um, I could probably also um, toss some money... In the direction of that beggar dude. Where the hell is our uh, thingy room here? Starting room. It's over this way somewhere, isn't it? An extra penny there. I might as well grab that. Yeah, I'm, our mam and beggar might be able to give us some good stuff as well here. So I should play him out. Right. Unfortunately, that puts an end to everything there. That's a shame. <laughs> really... Not what I was hoping for there, but there you go. Overhealing charges a special health bar. Filling this health bar accumulates a damage boost up to 1.5 for each heart filled. Auto smelts once the bar is filled completely. This special health bar can be viewed by standing near a heart that will overheal you or by viewing the map. Sounds good, I think. I think it sounds good. Right, anyways. Let's get gone. Uh, we got to keep our money, which wasn't my intention, but I guess that's what the game willed into existence for the, for us here. I wonder if when I was playing that Demon Beggar, if I was taking less red heart damage because of that item I got first. A 30% chance to negate red heart damage. I wonder if that works for like Demon Beggars and stuff. It seems like it would, to be honest. Right, I would like a little bit extra speed. Our speed right now isn't great. We'll pop our active when we get into the boss for health and damage and all that good stuff. Oh, beautiful. Getting that straight away is very nice. Oh my god, look at our swing size now. We'll see if this is any good for us, but I doubt it. Strength doesn't do much for us. Judgment could be nice. Yes, I'll play Judgment. Temperance is good. Um, Diffuse is whatever. Teleport is whatever. Okay, let's play you out first. Soul Heart's great. So far, I'm good. I'm happy with the stuff you're giving me. I'm just not so happy with all this. Okay, so now we do temperance. Why? 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 Why do you keep bombing everything I love? <laughs> it's so frustrating. Oh my god, stop. Cares the tower. Even when I don't have you, you're, you're fucking there to piss me off. Right, not bad at all. We're still holding on to our uh, Soul of the Forgotten, just in case. But apparently we are never getting a sacrifice room ever. It's just not allowed. Okay, we'll pop this in the next room. Temperance. Five pills at once. Doesn't seem super useful for us right now. Oop, one sec. Okay, we've got one of these rooms again. Always with these rooms. 
Unleash yourself, stupid fool. Okay, these guys can actually move now. I don't even know what these guy, this guy does after this point. Do I just gotta kill everything and then he'll go away? Or do I have to grab all these keys? Okay, no, yeah, I just kill everything and he goes away. Good stuff. Ooh, what the hell? That was weird. Oh, I kill the hands and other hands spawn. <laughs> It's like it evolves. That's kind of a cool idea. Catch these hands. Thank you for the penny. But yeah, we are now at the point where health is no longer that big of an issue, which is good. I'm actually on a, on a run where, because of our size, I actually think that we're getting a lot of use out of our burn club, which are our donkey's jawbone, which normally I don't really like the donkey's jawbone after a certain point with this character, but I think we're on a run where it makes a lot of sense right now. Do we have a curse? We do have a curse of the blind here, so I very much like that. Could you not have uh, fucked that all the way over there. Can you Can you not, my guy? Right, remove that curse is very nice for us. I do not want to not know what I'm getting for my items. Thank you, Pill, for making our life much, much easier. Okay. Bloodshot Eye, really not that impressive, but thank you nonetheless. Does block shots, I suppose. That was a really bad hit there, my bad. There go, filled that up as well. Does, um, does the nail give you half a black heart or half a, half a soul, uh, soul heart? I've, I've not really been paying attention, I'll be honest. So I, th I swear it used to give you a soul heart, or maybe now it gives half a black heart. Which makes it even better. Get out of here, you. Get out of here. Uh, I just want to quickly check the secret room locations. Okay, it's not where I thought it was. I'm not super on it with secret room right now, because I just... I don't need to be. This run's pretty good as is. I don't need to be worrying too much. This is kind of an interesting use case for, uh, like, usage of these blocks. It isn't super annoying, and it's it's kind of a... I don't know, it's kind of interesting. It's a good way of, do, of using them. Ow. Okay, just, just hurt me so I can check. It is a half black hat. Wow, okay. That's kind of crazy. Options is... Always a good item to take. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. These guys do shoot at me, right? Eventually. I thought they did, but maybe not. Yeah, we need a way of getting rid of our red hearts more easily. That would that would make this even more powerful than it already is. It's already a very good run, though, I think. Good. Let me look at our damage right now. It's beautiful. Damn it, health down. I don't. I don't. I don't mind the health down that much, to be honest. I'm maybe trading away some of those red hearts, anyways. It's annoying, but it's not all that bad. Look at that amount of damage we just did. He spiked himself to death as well. Finally got our tears up. It's lovely. All heart types have a 33% chance of being converted into the black hearts or black lotusts. Um, when entering a hostile room, with uh, the enemy with the highest HP will be marked. Killing that enemy grants two damage up for the room. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll, t we'll just take that for now, I think. And we will head down on our way. Cool. Yeah, we get to kill a marked enemy to gain bonus damage. And it works with bosses too, apparently, so... I'm happy. Good, good. Cramp that. Open that up. Jawbreaker. I will definitely take that because it does, it basically is just the item, but as a trinket, which is amazing. 
It's kind of hard to tell when I get the damage, to be honest, considering I normally get damage from killing enemies. <laughs> Makes it a little, a little bit more confusing. Boom, bow. Ow. How dare you. This looks secret roomy to me. I'm sorry, but I can't buy that heart. If I one can't afford it and two don't need it, but I wonder if I'd get any bonus thing from uh, from having bought that. Shop. I'll just check, quickly check you out. Bell Clapper would be kind of nice. So if I get the money for that, I guess I'll come back for it. Ooh, also, I didn't actually realize that Secret Room allows us to bomb into our boss trap room too, which is always an extra bonus. Beautiful stuff. Um, and I think I will play this and get a duplicate item. It's not a great duplicate item, but the range does help, and the soul heart is nice, so... And actually, the look is pretty good too, considering we've got this, uh, this trinket, so... Do you know what? All in all, I'm pretty happy with that as an item. You could stop doing that, my lad. You could just stop. That would be great. A haunted chest. I accidentally picked up the pill, but it's a luck upgrade. Hell yes, okay. Luck has uh, skyrocketed so far, which is pretty awesome. What's the beady little fellas? Now, interestingly enough, the wafer, oh man, the wafer, baby. Okay, interestingly enough, we can do a pretty interesting thing here. We can come in here and we can grab this, kill these guys, chill out. And then we can come back this way and using our active, we can destroy the rocks to get another active charge. <laughs> Give us a wisp as well. It's token there. I'll leave that for now. Still looking on that sacrifice room, which we just haven't seen yet, which is bizarre. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, uh, the, are the nail tears from our... I think the nail tears are from our little dude. From our little wispy wispy. I'm still on the train of the... There's got to be a sacrifice room at some point, so... Really, another cash room? No sacrifice rooms at all. It just won't happen for us. The game just will not let it. Oh, there you go. We got one. Okay. Okay, we do need to go back real quick. The one to do this room here. And the other thing we need to do is quickly go over... Back to our counter, wherever that was. I think it was in here, right? Yeah. We drop this, pick it up, duplicate that. Just so we have a second one if we find a second um, a second sacrifice room on another floor. Solar Forgotten's like literally only use ever is this. <laughs> if anyone uses Solar Forgotten for literally anything else, I just, I can't fathom why. It literally gives you six free players on a sacrifice room, which is amazing. Like, seven players is the ideal amount, so six free players is great. Right, there you go. We've got our free players there. Ooh, that's a luck upgrade as well. Be the luck, man. Our, uh, I'm very glad I took this trinket now, because three times damage those tiers do. Three times damage. You can see our damage up that we've got from our uh, Mastema item, by the way, here. You can see it slowly ticking down. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff, right. Boss time now. I'm not actually seeing that many, uh, that many teeth tears, considering I've got this much luck. I thought I'd have been seeing more. Got 
Got a devil deal here. Uh, Devil's Bargain. Oh, Blood Rites does allow us to do red heart damage to ourselves. Grants a passive item from the current rules rooms pool and remove some heart containers after being fully charged without getting hit you get to keep the item plus the hearts that were taken and given back if you get hit while recharging the item is taken away and your hearts won't be returned okay that's just confusing but also i don't think i need it um it sounds it sounds good but it sounds a little bit risky and i'm actually super happy with my current active item and it is an active so I'm not all that enthused by taking that, I'll be honest. Ghost bombs, not bad, not bad. Oh, I was hoping to take him out before he decided to start shooting. It's a little annoying. Half soul heart there, thank you. Luckily, with this swinging, we can take out quite a lot of rooms quite easily. Our luck is also giving us a lot of chests here. So where the room rewards you get with some options is so much better than normal. Like, you get so many more chests, it feels like, at least. Like, like, a, like a chest in every... I know, I know we have good luck, so we are getting more chests, but still, it's like a chest in like every goddamn room. Damn, that guy has... Oh, he's a champion, but that guy has a lot of HP. Oh, we got a really annoying room for this, unfortunately. Wasted all of that. Grab that real quick. Oh, come on now. Wrong way again. That's just annoying. That's just goddamn annoying. I do wonder if Milk of Baphomet takes modded on-hit effects into account as well from mods that, like, th from other mods that aren't just the mod it's from. Okay. Unfortunately, big wrong ways there. It happens. What card have we got here? I'd rather take the card. World, lovely stuff. I'm glad I took that. Oh, wow. The Black Bean. Hoi! <laughs> Amazing reward. Okay, this, this is satisfying. This is the sort of room you want to have that available in. God damn it, so many enemies that just don't just refuse to goddamn die. Yes. I'll just pop that now, so I've got some extra damage for this room. It's alright, it's okay. Ooh, a mega speed down. Not really what I was hoping for. Perks. Perks doesn't do anything for us. Our speed, our speed isn't actually that bad now. But the nail is active. I think the nail does give us speed, so maybe it won't be that good in the next room. We'll see. Oh no, it's actually better. Nail is a speed down, it'll speed up. Well, wouldn't you know... Get absolutely destroyed, good lad. Although I've never seen you do this before, so... Bit of a weirdo for that. Binky's lovely. Very much wants some more fire rate. Empty vessel, I will take. Um, and I guess I'll take that with black powder just to activate empty vessel's flight. Thank you. Um, and I guess just because we've got a soul heart really close by and we've got flight now, I might as well go grab it. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Right, good, good. To the next floor.
We've entered a very good stage now in our run where we've actually got good fire rate, good damage, okay enough speed. Bomb the hell out of this thing. Actually, a bunch of things I don't really want there. I don't really want red HP up. Surprisingly so. Red HP increases aren't my bag right now. I'm glad that we've got this um, this Lemmageddon heart. I was going to say because it's making sure we only take half a heart of damage. But we're only taking half a heart of damage because we have goddamn... Uh, what's it called? Um, I forget the name of the goddamn item now. The wafer. Nice. Cut through him very quickly. Yeah, we're only taking half a heart of damage because we've got the goddamn wafer. We don't need to worry about a thing. Not at all. We are in a very, very good spot. Good. Hope we can keep you in the right way. I'm going to say that and immediately go the wrong way. Shouldn't have said anything. Hopefully, we'll be carry on getting this insane amount of um, of chests when we get to the actual chest and uh, get some items for it. We're getting a hell of a lot at the moment. This is a room I, w I, I am willing to bomb out of for now. I'm going to say, if we go the right way, that is, which we didn't. Lovely. We've got a bit of invincibility here, so I'm going to utilize it. Yeah, luckily we got through that room okay that time. Goddamn death animations. We're stacking up our damage bonus super quick now as well. Oh my god, the long death animations. Wasted that entire charge. Worship. What does worship do? Ugh. Unfortunate. I gambled, but I got a pretty bad item for my gamble. I was not so lucky. Are these the only guys I got to kill? Yeah, apparently so. Okay, we're not going to get a full instant kill here, but that was pretty close. There'll be two or three more of those. Unfortunately, hit my uh, donkey's job at the bad time there, but it still works out. And we're on the last floor with still pretty much full HP. I think we made some good choices this run. Didn't really struggle too much, but um, we're keeping the streak alive. Shard of Glass is a big no thank you. Junkin. Junkin this late on, he's uh he's not the most useful of boys, but I will uh I will be able to probably rank him up pretty high. It's a lot of bombs. Yeah, probably also getting pretty pretty well ranked up here because I should be getting quite a good amount of items. I'll take baby Pluto there. Baby Pluto is amazing. He doesn't do much right now, he's just kind of cute. Take care of all of these boys. I I guess, can I, can I bomb things in the shop? I don't, I don't think I can, can I? Oh my god, you can bomb shop items. This thing... Junkin is just insane, man. <laughs> you can bomb shop items, that's crazy. I wonder if you can bomb devil deal items. Something tells me based on the way this guy works already, you probably can. Ah, oh, Play-Doh cookie's too fun not to take. Too fun not to take. Why won't you let me die? 
Sorry, Snail. You become junk and fodder. I must get him to max rank. One dimensional baby. Junk and fodder. He's actually really easy to get to max rank. Um, like, late in a game, late in a run. Early game, it still takes a while. But now that I know the shop thing, which might be a bug, um, makes him a lot, lot easier to level up. Like, a lot, lot easier. Because shops normally have one to two items in them. You don't need any money to bomb them. Maybe it's only those shops, though. Maybe it doesn't work in real shops. Maybe that's just, like, a, a specific sort of case in which you can get away with it sort of thing. I just found a lucky scenario in which they didn't think about sort of thing. There you go, max rank Junkin already, baby. Max rank already. I'm playing like an absolute madman right now, but I've basically got infinite HP. <laughs> Near enough anyways. Holy water's good stuff. Should be pretty close to our boss now, that's why I'm not using the nail yet. I like the way that every swing's a different colour. Look at this death animation, man. Who gives a shit? Stop. Jar of Sights. That's a pretty cool idea. But I don't need it, so bomb. Even though bombing it at this point does nothing, but... More food for junk and why not? My reflection's good stuff. It's a ton of extra range, which in itself is really nice for our swings. Look at that. Look how big our swings are now. Why are you going to be so dramatic, Fiendfolio bosses? Just chill out. Why you got to be so over dramatic? Healer duplex. Here's our boss. Repentance plus error message. It's fine. We've got literal boomerang tears now with the Peeler duplex because they boomerang back towards us. Right. Into your next form. And your next form are oh, beautiful stuff. Easy boss kill. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very fun little win once again. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.